welcome to NJRocks.TV, another segment. My name is Jeff Turo. We have over here on the end... Stephen Hersicorn. And with us today, our guest is Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Dunstan. Dunstan. All right, Jeff. Singer Entertainer. Singer Entertainer, that's right. Welcome, that's right. Jeff. How are you? How, I'm, I'm very Good fine. Good to see you. Thank you. It's thanks, great to be thanks here. Thanks for driving down. Where did you come from? I came from Montclair. Montclair? Yeah. That's a little bit of a drive. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. And, and it's even more exciting in the dark. Okay. <laughs> you know where the action is? Yeah. Down here in Freehold. Yeah, it's right here. Freehold. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, How did you get well, started in the entertainment business? Well, I'm uh, sure everybody wonders. That. Okay, uh, that's a that's a great question. Uh, I was uh, about uh, 17 or 18 years old, and um, I was um, playing around the house. My father was a um, engineer for the local radio station in Ithaca, New York. You know where Ithaca, New York, is? Rome. By Rome. It's by Rome. Yeah, that's right. Rome, exactly. Right. Well, that's where we were living in Ithaca. It's way up there. It, yes, in a tiny little town. You can't town. get there from here. <laughs> no, you can't. You know. No, I would say when Rome do what the Romans do is the same in Ithaca. Is that <laughs> no, it's exactly the same. Yeah, okay. you know? sure. Thank you. But um, he got me a job at the local radio station up there. Up there, and that's that's when it started, and uh, I learned to write news and so forth, and I had a little. Uh, uh, a weekend news show, and then the station gave me a scholarship to Ithaca College, to the broadcasting school at, at Ithaca College, and I went to the broadcasting school, and um, some of my classmates, are you familiar with Hannity and Coombs? Yes. Hannity and Coombs? Yes. Alan Coombs was, <laughs> he was, uh, uh, um, well, he was like uh, about a year or two ahead of me. But uh, we both uh, worked at the same station. We worked at uh, uh, TKO at the time when we were in college at the same TKO. time. TKO. WTKO. It's, it doesn't really exist anymore in terms of what it once was. I think it's uh, more like a satellite station now. You were saying when you went to school, this, this reminds you of... Uh, yeah, uh, this does because we did all this. As, as a matter of fact... It's nothing new going on here. No, no. As, as a matter of fact, Rod Serling served a guest professorship there at Ithaca, and I took classes with him, and we did all of this stuff. You wow. know. That's pretty amazing. Yeah. That's, yeah. That is very Twilight Zone, I must say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. And, um, I wish uh, we had sound effects we could have done. Yeah. Do 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 did my four years at uh, Ithaca College, and I always had a burning desire to be a, a, a live performer. I wanted to perform live, and so I, I moved to, to New York, and I started in stand-up comedy at the uh, Improvisation on West 44th Street. The yeah. old, yes, the old wow. Improvisation on wow. West 44th Street. Uh, back, back in the 70s. Stand-up is tough. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That's why I failed at it. Oh, <laughs> it's yeah. tough. It's a minefield out there. Yeah, yeah. But uh, from, uh, um, from stand-up comedy and then studying acting at the HB studio in the village and then uh, with a voice coach uh, with the uh, Manhattan Opera Singers and uh, which led to some performances at Lincoln Center and uh, with the opera company, That's impressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I just uh, uh, and and some stage work and studied at the uh, Shakespeare Studio Theater because Did I you got work with any struggling actors or singers who became famous later. Uh, <clears throat> let's see, Robert Clohessy, uh, uh, NYPD Blue, oh. um, uh, Steve Steve Stedman. Um, I can't well, remember which one. Stedman brothers, right? Uh, <laughs> one of the Stedman brothers. You know, uh, you know, a bunch of people who, uh, you know, it's one of those things where, you know, you see a show and you go, God, I remember right. going to college with that person. You know, I remember. Cool. Well, they're working, they're working, they're in their profession. Yeah, Good. yeah. And uh, that happens to me a lot because I, I, I had an agent for, for four years in, in, uh, um, in New York. And in four years, I landed two jobs. Ooh. I landed a voiceover, and I landed one on camera. And I always used to get first refusal. Uh, you, your wife probably yes, knows yes, about yes, that. Yes. You, know, you, go, you know, it's like, hold on to Jeff. You know what I mean? We, we might need him. 
and uh, I would get first refusal and it would always go to the other guy. Nice. And then like a week later, I'd be watching TV and I'd see the commercial that I auditioned for. I'd say, I gave it to that guy. Oh, that hurts. I mean, I'm much it. better. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you know? So, uh, um, uh, let's see, a after that, uh, I got kind of discouraged and uh, I decided not to, to sign, re-sign my contract with HWA. The two jobs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that was around, uh, that was around 2008 and um, I got, uh, I, I was working for Deloitte & Touche in New York at the same time. I got laid off at Deloitte & Touche and at the same time, I had purchased a couple of years before, I had purchased a small DJ company with another guy and we'd been working it on a part-time basis. And when, my, uh, uh, when I got laid off from Deloitte and Touche, I decided to, to go into it full-time. And uh, uh, I did that for a while and um, I started putting feelers out to the, the senior centers. There was another company that was uh, booking me um, uh, uh, Bernstein Entertainment and um, they said you know uh, uh, you, you could possibly find your niche with this and you know there's a lot of work so uh, um, that's exactly what happened because I I do voiceovers uh, 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 and I do impressions as, impressions. as I, well as saying I love impressions do impressions you can do All right. on some <laughs> other but go ahead if you want to do one impression uh, <laughs> okay tell me who this is Madison Square Garden, October 14th, 2013. Jam-packed yeah. with 20,000 uh, people works. plus. People who are young and people who are old. Come what? to see, here. Pay homage to men and women whose careers have spanned four generations and somehow never found a gap. Hello again. You have a good voice. Yeah, How nice. it go sell. Very nice. Yeah, exactly. And we're going to have you sing a song in a little bit. That's great. Um, can't wait to hear that. What's the song you're going to sing? The song that I'm going to sing is You'll Never Find by Blue Rolls. You'll Never Find. You'll Never Find. Love it. Yes. That's good. <laughs> okay. Very romantic. No, one, of the, yes. one of the people that you work with in Jersey is the group Enter Entertainers Plus? Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, Sue Davis, uh, Entertainers Plus. A real great company. A real great lady. Where are they at? Um, they are in Little Egg Harbor. Way down there. Yes. Wow. Little Egg, and she books me way up here. And she's getting well known because she's all over the place. Can I get on her? Can yes, yeah. My wife, Mary, actually uh, works for her as well. So, yeah. Small yeah. world. A I mean, very nice her. lady. <laughs> yeah. Do I need her? You need her. We need yeah. to get her on this show. We got to get her on. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Before we leave, we want to just uh, talk about Ibby's falafel. I don't know. Have you ever had falafel? Yes. Yeah, do you like falafel? I love it. This place is awesome. Oh. Baba Ganoush, you know what that is? No. Okay, they make okay. Baba Ganoush. Okay. It's pretty interesting. I have Baba Ganoush. Um, uh, oh, look. Our Billy J. Brown is eating. What do you got over there? Falafel and what? Baba Ganoush? You don't even know what it is, right? Veal. <laughs> oh, it's another veal. You got the meat. It's the meat platter. <laughs> How do you like it? Hello. It's good, right? It's awesome. I've eaten there many times. I, I in Freehold there, right? For in Ibby's. Yep, right right awesome. on Main Street. When you can, right on Main Street, Ibby's, Falafel. you got to go there and check this place out. Fantastic. And not that expensive either. Yeah, really good it, food. Great awesome. Food. And if you're on a diet, that's the place to go. Well, that's me then, because I'm on a diet. <laughs> you got to try it out. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks for coming in there, Jeff. And we're going to say goodbye. And, My pleasure, and We're going to look at this camera over here. And okay. uh, thanks for watching. And, and Jay Rocks. Rocks. TV. TV.